Hey y'all, it is your girl Chastity, and I am back with a quick message from God. Y'all know what I find so crazy is when people comment on posts, videos, just things on this here internet that they don't agree with. Why do you feel the need to comment your thoughts and opinions? Do you not have anything else to do with yourself? Y'all be arguing with people in these comments about the, you know, y'all really being cutting up on my TikTok, going back and forth about um, my video that I posted about horoscopes and all of that and how that's not of God and it's not in the Bible. I don't even respond to people. But y'all just, why is it, if you can, we can agree or disagree and we can agree to disagree. But why is it that y'all waste y'all time coming on these posts? Not just mine. I see it on the internet all the time. I'm like, if you don't agree with what this person posted, why do you feel obligated to let them know that you don't agree and be combative and just go back and forth in the comments with these strangers? Like, it's so crazy. I just find it so ridiculous. And I was just like thinking about this earlier as I'm seeing people on my TikTok <laughs> argue and on Instagram on one of my uh, reels, just go back and forth talking about the universe, talking about all this, talking about what's in the Bible, what's not in the Bible. Child, I'm not about to argue with y'all. Now, if God want me to respond to let it be a learning opportunity and teach, only for those that are not arrogant and prideful and that are willing to receive and that are genuinely and truly, you know, curious about what is actually correct and not trying to be combative and uh, be argumentative because I don't know about y'all, but I don't have time to argue with people that I don't know. That's not helping me in my relationship with God. That's not elevating me. That's not adding to my lifestyle and that's not adding to my pockets. I don't argue with y'all. So this is just a little word of encouragement for all y'all folks out there one that do um create content and maybe people come in and they do not dis they do not agree with you they disagree child ignore them turn your comments off if if you feel like you don't have the self control to ignore them um but just ignore them don't entertain them you're just feeding into their ego making them feel relevant making them feel important and just giving them whatever satisfaction they're looking for. Because some folks, they just lonely. Misery loves company. Um, they ain't got nothing going for themselves and in their life. So it's easier to just argue with strangers and come in on their posts and degrade them, disrespect them, say uh, all the negative, crazy things. Um, like on my AK video, people, people was really cutting up. I was like, child, I'm not about to argue with y'all, okay? But there's just some encouragement for y'all. Learn to ignore and not respond. No response is a response. Okay? Now, those that are just bored and want to come and argue with folks like myself, child, go spend some time with God and go find something better to do with your time. There's so many things that I can tell you you could be focused on and doing by just looking at your page or looking at your profile picture, looking at your stories. I can help you and give you some things to do if you absolutely do not have anything to do. Go to therapy because there's a reason as to why you are being nasty on this here internet, on these folks internet, being nasty to strangers and being rude and disrespectful to folks you don't know. You're, you're, everybody is entitled to an opinion, correct? free world you can come and you can say whatever it is you please but y'all don't have to be disrespectful you don't have to be combative you don't have to let everybody know when you don't agree with their content or things that they're posting if it's something that they're out of line and you're using it as a teaching opportunity and only if god led you to do so check with god before you go comment on people's stuff but don't be over here trying to be the convicted master like God gave you a whip or a belt and told you to go ahead and whoop everybody that, that is stepping out of line. 
Child's not your job. It ain't my job. I don't be purposely trying to convict people. If they get convicted, I'm like, go sit with God. My job is simply to plant the seed and create other disciples. But my job is not to go and judge nobody. My job is not whatsoever. So I don't be judging folks. I just be like, hey, you know, live your life, boo. But do understand that there's there's repercussions for everything, okay? And if you are stepping out of alignment with God, you gonna know. You you know, and if you need some help, hey, I am definitely here willing to help you. If you lack a lot of knowledge and you're like, hey, I wanna get my life right with God and I wanna be in alignment with his will for my life. But stop arguing with people. Stop being nasty. Y'all are some real rude and nasty folks. And you just, your attitude just stank because whoever done pissed you off, pissed in your coffee, the reason why you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, the enemy is attacking you, you dealing with spiritual warfare, that man don't want you, that woman don't want you, them kids don't want nothing to do with you, whatever. Or you broke, because when you broke, everybody be mean. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. So, figure those things out so that you can represent yourself better on this here internet and you can come at people with love from a loving place and try to use those opportunities as teachable moments if they are out of line, if they are being, you know, talking out the side of their neck, saying crazy stuff. But don't get on the internet and try to attack these people and attack folks for what? Like, for what? You ain't got nothing better to do. Go find something to do. And if you absolutely have nothing to do, go open your Bible. Open your Bible and read it. Spend some time with God. That will take up a lot of time because it's a, it's a lot of books in that Bible, okay? A lot of pages. But, you know... I just want y'all to start being loving on the internet because life is already pretty tough. We already be dealing with stuff on a daily basis, just crazy stuff already. The enemy stay attacking us. So you don't, nobody wants other people, especially strangers, to just come at them sideways just because they're miserable. Like, why? I really want to know why. If you are a person that comment on strangers' posts and attack them, Tell me why in the comments, because I'm just curious. Why do you do that? <laughs>